Okay, so this is the model that represents the ventricles uh, within the brain. Remember, ventricles are fluid-filled cavities, and all ventricles have the ability to produce CSF, or cerebral spinal fluid, because located or lining the ventricles, you're going to find choroid plexes. So remember, a choroid plexus is a specialized tuft of capillaries lined with ependymal cells, which is a type of neuroglial cell, and that produces your CSF. Okay, so these two really large ventricles, these are the first and second. Together, we call them the lateral ventricles. And you'll notice they're the largest of all the ventricles. They're going to produce the bulk of the CSF. Okay, so these are the lateral ventricles. So we're gonna go through the flow of CSF. So I'm gonna trace it as if the, it was flowing. So from the lateral ventricles, CSF would flow through this structure right here called the interventricular foramen, okay? Interventricular foramen into the third ventricle, which is this structure right here, okay? Here's the third ventricle. From the third ventricle, CSF is gonna flow through, this is the cerebral aqueduct, right? So if we were looking at a brain surrounding it, right here, you would find your cerebral peduncles or your midbrain. So this is your cerebral aqueduct. From the cerebral aqueduct, CSF is going to flow into the fourth ventricle, which is right here. And the fourth ventricle is located kind of in between the cerebellum and the brainstem. So here's the fourth ventricle. Now it's easy to tell which one of these, which of these are ventricles because anytime you see that pink tissue, so if you look at these big lateral ventricles, okay, all that pink stuff represents choroid plexus. Okay, so the specialized capillaries lined with ependymal cells. So these are ventricles. So those are the lateral ventricles. Right here you see pink tissue. So this, this would be the choroid plexus of the third ventricle. Cerebral aqueduct, see pink tissue again. So this represents choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle.